Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are doing very well today. In today's session, I'm going to cover these two topics. So one of you asked me a question, um, like how to add image to a section and also how do you make an image as a background image? Basically, how do you add a background image to a section? Okay, so this is the topic for today's session. Um, let's get started. Okay, so let me go to the dev studio. Let me quickly log in. I will switch to uh, Dev Studio. So first things first. So I'll be doing this uh, video in two parts. So first I'm going to show you how to um, add an image to a section. Okay, so uh, whenever we are dealing with images, right? First thing that we do is we create a binary file. So what is a binary file? A binary file is a rule type in uh, Pega. So when you create a binary file, it will ask you uh, to upload the image. So let's say we have an image in our local machine, right? And if you want to use that in Pega. So um, in order to do that, you have to first create a binary file rule. In that binary file rule, you need to upload your local image and then you can use that binary file either in your section or as a background image uh, and in many other ways, okay? So uh, let's get started with creating the binary file. So binary file can be found under the technical category in uh, Records Explorer. So if you see here, right? So this is the binary file that I'm talking about. Let's create one uh, binary file. Let's give it a meaningful name. Let's call it custom PPL. Okay, custom PS. Uh, PS is my org, so let me name it as custom PS. Now, what is this app name? So, app name will be WABWB. So, this is something that you guys need to remember whenever you're creating uh, binary files. Um, to upload images okay and file type what is this file type so file type is basically the type of the file that you're going to upload into this binary file so in this uh, video the file that I'm going to use is um, this one okay so I have downloaded a file um, from internet and this is the let's see the you know um, type basically so let's go to properties so it is a png file a dot png if you see here so in my binary uh, rule what do i give i give the file extension as png so this will vary based on the file type that you have right the image type basically so in my case it is png so that is why i have given it as png let's create an open and if you see right in this particular form what it is asking it is asking it is giving you upload file button so this is where you will upload your file from the local okay so choose file um in my case i have the file in desktop so this is a file test s.png upload file okay save so you can see right the file that i was talking about the image that i was talking about it is successfully uploaded as this particular binary file so step one is done now what we need to do we need to use this particular binary file into section okay so that is the part one of the uh, video so how do you add an image to a section okay so let's go to the case type let's find out a section let me Run the case type and let me see what uh, screens we have at the moment. Okay, so I have this screen. Um, actually, I don't want to touch the screen. So let's do one thing. Let me include another section in my case type and then we'll play with that particular section. Okay, so let's add a step over here. Let's call it review info. Hit the save button. Okay, so let's click on configure view, submit. So what this would do, this would create your flow action and section rule at the back end. Okay, uh, I could have done that manually, but just to save time, right? So this is the approach that I used now. Let's go to this particular flow and let's open the section rules. Okay, so this is the assignment uh, that I just created. The flow action got created, the section got created. Now, um, at the moment, right, uh, let me quickly, uh, you know, I'll show you. So, this is the first screen which we have not touched. Let's go to the next screen. So, this is the screen, right, where I'm going to add the image. So, as of now, I have not added the image to this particular section. I just wanted to show you uh, that once we make the configuration. So, this is the screen where our image should appear. Okay, so let's go to the section rule. Um, let's do one thing. It should be under data display. So you see, right, under data display, there is something called image, right? So we will select this particular control. 
once we do this and once we click on the edit icon so you see um the control type is image okay and then there are options like you have the icon source as a standard icon image external url property or icon class so we are going to select the icon sources image once you do this you will get another field on the form wherein you have to give the binary file okay now how do you do it so you see this gear icon so let's open this once we do this right so we get a pop-up wherein you can search for the name of the binary file that you just created so in our case the name is custom ps so what do we do we come back here uh oh why is my pop-up hold on oh yeah what's here so let me type the name let me hit on find so you see the image that i have uploaded as a binary file comes up here so when select this we'll click on ok and if you see this is how the binary file path has come right web wb was the directory custom ps was the file name the image name and dot png was the file type so at this moment what i did i have successfully included an image control into my section I have given the path of my binary file. Okay. And once we do that, we'll submit. Save. Now let's see how it looks at that time. Okay. So do you see? So we have successfully added an image into a section. So this is all about the part one of the video. It's a very simple uh, use case. You include an image type of control, you create a binary file and you use the binary file into that image control. So we are done with this. Now, next thing that I'm going to talk about is um, how do we add a background image to a section? Okay, so this is, sorry. So this is a bit different, okay? So now we are jumping into the part two of the video. So let me close on this. So we are going to use the same binary file, but this time we are going to use it as a background image. So for doing that, what you have to do is uh, there are again, in, there are n number of ways in which you can add uh, the background image. So let us take the use case wherein we want to add the background image to the section itself. So this section itself that we created, right? So in this, we will add the image as a background image and we will have some uh, controls on the front end. So that is what we are going to use. So how do we do that? So um, you need to go to the skin role. So in your skin role, if you go to the included styles, so there is something called additional style sheets. So here um, you will have your style sheets, basically the CSS text files. So what I have done is I have already created one of the, you know, um, custom text file before the video. And in this, you can define your helper classes. Now, what is what exactly is a helper class? Okay, so let me show that to you. So let's go back to our um, case type. Do it coming out. In the flow, right? Yeah. Let's open the section. <laughs> What I would do is I would remove this particular image as um, image and uh, we will add that as a background. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let's add a label. Let's save all Okay. Next. Save. So uh, I was talking about. Um, helper classes right so if you click on the settings of your dynamic layout and if you go to the presentation tab if you see there right you have an option to define or you have an option to um, use existing css helper classes okay so if you click on this so as of now there is one helper class which is used which is content items max switch if you click on the gear icon right you will see a lot of helper classes that are available out of the box so all these are helper classes that pega has created for us um in order to add a background image to this particular section, right? I'm going to create my view helper class. In that helper class, I'm going to call the binary file of the image that we have just uploaded. And then I'm going to use that helper class in this particular dynamic layout. So this is the three-step process that I'm going to do. So first step is 
I need to create my own helper class. So in order to create the helper class, you need to have a CSS file, right? So uh, or the style sheets basically. So for that, I showed you go to the skin rule of your application, go to the included styles. If you already do not have any custom um, style sheet available, you create one and then inside that you write your helper class. So this is the helper class name background image so you have to start it with a dot this is the name of your helper class you need to give any meaningful name and under that you need to write your CSS uh, code basically so in my case I just need to have a background image right so background image is the attribute and then this needs to be the path basically of the image so in this case where is my file so my file is in w web wb directory okay and the name of the file is this and the type is png so this two lines of code is my css code for adding a background image now once we do it successfully we just need to use this particular helper class in the dynamic layout so let's try doing this and let's see if it works Let's test it out. Okay, so do you see this? Um, I know the, the format, the sizing is not that great, but uh, yeah, uh, let's try to modify it a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, the dimensions of the file is something that you need to, you know, define further into your uh, CSS file. You can give, you know, the height, width and all whenever you are creating the helper class based on the screen size. So you may not want, uh, you may not want the entire um, screen like in this case, right? There may be other controls also. There may be other layouts also. So based on that, you have to give the di uh, dimensions of your uh, image. Okay, but yeah, in a simple way, um, this is how you add a background image to your section i hope this was useful i hope uh, i was able to explain and answer your question um if you have any further questions right feel free to uh, you know um, drop me a further comment and i'll try to take it forward thank you so much uh, for listening in have a nice day bye